Hey, it's Sarah with House Copper. Today I'm going to uh, quickly go over the tools needed for tinning in your garage or if you don't have a copper shop or access to any of this, what I use. And um, we, uh, I'm just gonna run through it really quick. Um, this assumes that you know how to clean the inside of a copper pot to prepare it for tinning, which means no oxidized tin, no extra food, grease, debris, sand, dirt, dark, anything. It needs to be sanded so that the tin inside is either shiny or if there was no tin or the tin is mostly gone, that the copper is clean. Um, so we're gonna assume you have an, a clean pot. These are um, the tools I use for, um, for tinning. So here we go. First and foremost, lime, like garden lime in a powder form that you will mix with water, which will be then put on the outside of the copper pots which will make your job easier because it will diminish the amount of tin dripping on the sides and uh, it will keep your, your copper from oxidizing over the fire and make your polishing a lot nicer and easier on yourself. I use propane to tin with a fire. Um, someday I wanna get my tinning bench built with fire brick, but right now this is all I got, but propane. I have, um, this is just like, like basically for making bullets, but it's like a, a crucible um, and you know, this comes with it so that I can move the tin um, from there into the pot. I have flux for all of these you who ask, Harris Stay Clean Flux, the end. Harris, I am not paid to say this, I'm just saying this is what I use. There you go. Um, tub of water, I try and get hot water when I can. Um, then also, Wire brush for um, any last minute kind of cleaning around rivets. Safety equipment, you need your glasses. You need your breathing equipment. You need a welding glove, or at least I use a welding glove for holding onto the pot with my left hand. And I tin, like I wipe the tin with a cotton gloved right hand, vice versa if you are a left-handed person. And then last but not least, either solid cotton or insulation, like house insulation, um, for the actual wiping. A few other things that I have learned the hard way. Um, I wear a hat. Um, it is July. It's hot as F in the garage. Um, I even have a whole door open, like an entire garage door open on the other side. I'll probably open the one next to me too for ventilation. Um, but also, um, it's hot. I, and I ventilate even if it's like January and it's negative 20 outside, I still open the garage doors when I tin, even with my breathing equipment. Um, and you just kind of have to move around with the wind so that it doesn't mess with your flame because that'll mess with how well your pot is tinning. Um, so, but I wear a hat because I like to like have hair. Um, you can really frizz out your hair without covering it. So I'm wearing a, a hat. Also long sleeves. Um, I've been debating getting kind of those welding sleeves. Um, I might try those, but like a cotton shirt, like flannel, um, with you know the sleeves all the way down so you don't burn your uh, forearms by reaching into a pot or over the fire. I have many burns from reaching into pots without long sleeves on. Um, and then also good long pants. I'm wearing my, my Duluth fire hose pants, um, which hold up really well. And then also good, um, if you don't have steel toe boots, just good leather shoes that um, if tin falls on them, molten tin falls on them, you won't like have a hole in your shoe and burn your skin. So. There you go. Happy tinning.